Drawing circles in pixel art can be one of the more difficult techniques to figure out when you're just getting started. In this video, we'll discuss how to draw perfect circles of any diameter. Now that we've learned how to draw lines and curves, the next step is to learn how to create circles. Circles can seem hard at first, but if you understand how to draw curves, it's actually pretty easy. The first thing to consider is the diameter of the circle. It's easiest to create circles with a diameter of an odd number. Let me show you why. Let's say we want to draw a circle with a diameter of 15. What you want to do is draw a 15 pixel line from left to right. This will be the width of the circle. To get the height, we draw a line of equal length right in the center of this line, creating a cross. So count over 7 pixels. And on the 8th pixel, draw a line going up for 7 pixels and down for 7 pixels. This cross is our guide to creating a circle. This is why you want to create circles with an odd diameter. With an odd number of pixels, we can create a perfect center point here. With an even diameter, these lines won't be perfectly aligned. It's easier to draw circles of odd diameters with this technique, but Later I'll show you how to do even diameters, too. For now, what you want to do is add end pieces to each of these lines. The length of these end pieces is optional, but again, make sure they're consistent. Also, you want to make sure these end pieces are of odd length as well. For this example, we'll use three pixel ends. Place one pixel on either side to give us a three pixel end. Do that for each of the lines on the cross. 3 pixels for each line. When we talked about drawing curves, we talked about gradually going from longer lines to shorter lines. The same applies here. Our end piece is 3 pixels long, so we want our first segment to be less than that. That means the next segment should be 2 pixels. Every segment we place, we need to mirror it over here. Now, if we placed another 2 pixel line, we'd be going out too far. So all we can do is add a single pixel, mirror that, and we have one quarter of the circle done. Before we finish the rest, notice how each segment gets shorter in length until they change direction, and then each segment gets larger until it reaches the other end piece. Also, it's important to be consistent and mirror each segment. If you don't mirror the segments, it won't actually make a circle. If I change this, now it's not round. It looks deflated here. All you have to do now is recreate this curve exactly between each end piece. Just follow the pattern from the first curve and connect each piece of the circle. Each pixel has to be exactly the same as from the first curve, otherwise the circle won't be perfect. There you go. If you erase the guidelines, that's our finished circle. If you want to get a circle of an even diameter, just draw the circle with a diameter of one pixel larger. So this circle has a diameter of 15 pixels, which means we could turn it into a 14 pixel circle if we want. Just erase the center pixel on the top and bottom end pieces. Press S to switch to the rectangle selection tool and select the entire right half. Press and hold Shift then click and drag to move the selection over one pixel. Now, erase the center pixel on both of the left and right end pieces. And select the entire bottom of the circle. Hold Shift, click and drag the bottom half up to align it with the top half. Now we have a circle with a 14 pixel diameter. Unless you're drawing circles of a pretty large diameter, two pixel segments will probably work best to start the curves. You want the center of these curves to be single pixels. Remember what we talked about with the curve ratios. A 1 to 1 ratio is as tight as we can get before going in the opposite direction. Here's an example of a larger circle with a diameter of 25 pixels. This example has end pieces with a length of 5 pixels. Each of the curves start with 2 pixel segments and they have 3 1 to 1 pixels before reversing the ratio. Creating circles isn't that hard, as long as you follow these guidelines. If you can draw a curve, you can draw a circle. 
Just make sure to follow the pattern exactly as you recreate each piece of the circle. Thanks for watching. If you found this content helpful, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Comment, like, and share this video, and subscribe for more tutorials. See you next time.